What's up everybody? This is Lewis from Best Dev Tutorials and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to set up WordPress locally on your computer and how to host it. So I'm over here at the WordPress uh, download page but before we download I'm gonna jump right in and we're going to need to install a, a bit of software uh, and the easiest way to set up a local server here uh, to host our WordPress site is by downloading something called MAMP. So I'm over here at MAMP.info and under this section here I'm going to click on download and under downloads right over here uh, go ahead and click on the download button. So once that's done uh, I've already gone and I downloaded it before this uh, tutorial here. So once you catch up go ahead and double click over here on the package that you downloaded and we're going to install MAMP. Agree, continue, install, then it'll prompt me for a password. And it's just going to take uh, about 30, 40 seconds to install here. Uh, just for reference here, the date is February 18th, 2017. Okay, now that that's installed, I'm going to go ahead and click on close. Then I'm going to go to that directory uh, where it installed, and I'm going to go to applications, and then MAMP should be right here. And I'm going to go ahead and open up the htdocs directory. Now this is going to be the area where we have our websites that we're hosting, including your WordPress site. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder, and I'll just call it uh, my site. You can call it whatever you'd like. So once you've gone ahead and done that, keep this window open over here. I'm going to go back and go to, uh, I'm back at wordpress.org forward slash download, and I'm going to download the current version of WordPress. And I'll save that right to my desktop. You can save yours wherever you'd like. And it creates, uh, it downloads the zip file. I'm going to go ahead and double click to uncompress. Okay. And now I have a folder right here. I'm going to double click that folder and uh, these are all the files from uh, over at wordpress.org. So I'm going to drag those files into my site folder in uh, that MAMP directory that we created. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight these files. And I'll go ahead and drag these over. Okay. Now we can forget about this, uh, this WordPress uh, folder from the, that was on my desktop, I'm not sure where you downloaded it, but now we just have this, the files over in the MAMP directory. So uh, let's go ahead and launch MAMP. So in this same directory here in MAMP, go ahead and click on the MAMP application. And you know what you can do? You can just go ahead and drag this to your dock if you want, if that makes it easier. And go ahead and launch MAMP. Now, uh, one of the other reasons that we downloaded this is it has some database tools that we're going to need to use uh, very briefly. And in order to use those tools, uh, we're going to need to just downgrade the version of PHP that MAMP is using. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Preferences. And I'm going to go to the PHP tab. And I'm going to go to 7.0 instead of 7.11. Go ahead and click OK. And then on the right over here, go ahead and click on Start Servers. Okay, now everything is loaded up here. Uh, you notice that this is your local server, so it's going to localhost and then this port number over here. Uh, so one thing we're going to do right here is just copy over all this after, up to the, or right after the port number. Go ahead and copy that. And then we're going to go ahead and copy and paste this in here and just go to the name of the folder that you had in your MAMP directory. So mine was my site. So I'm just going to go there and it has the WordPress install screen. Okay. Now I'm going to click on continue and it's going to say, okay, we're getting ready. We're going to need some uh, database information. Okay. Now go back to that MAMP uh, initial window and we're going to go to tools and then PHP my admin and we're going to need to create a database for our uh, WordPress site to run on. So go ahead and click on New 
and I'll call my database uh, in this create database field. I'll just make it a, a new WordPress. There we go. New underscore WordPress. I'll go ahead and click on create. Okay. Now we're going to need to add a user. So I'll go to privileges over here and I'll click on add user account. Uh, my username, I'm just, I'll make this very simple for this tutorial. I'll just make it uh, WP user. Go ahead and leave this next field host name. Just leave that as is. And the next uh, thing I'm, uh, for password, I'm just going to type in WP pass. Oops. WP pass again. And if I scroll down over here in global privileges, I'm going to go ahead and check all. That way the user has all the privileges needed and I will click on go. Great, so my user was created for the database new WordPress. So I can come back to this WordPress install and click on let's go and this is where we fill in the information that we just created. So database name, in my case it's new underscore WordPress. Username, so mine was WP user. My password was WP pass. And database host should be localhost. Table prefix I will leave as is. And then I'll go ahead and click on submit. Okay, now the next screen it says everything uh, looks good. Run the install. And on this page we'll have the site title uh, that it makes you do. So in my case I'll just put something like test title. Uh, and you can edit this uh, once the install is finished. So just put whatever you'd like in there for now. Uh, for the username, I'll put admin. That should be, I think, the default user uh, on the WordPress site. And then for password, it generates a strong password for you. I'm going to use this password that they give me. You can change it to your own. The important thing is now to just remember uh, whatever password is. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this to my clipboard. And for my email, I'm just going to use my best dev tutorials at gmail.com email. And for search engine visibility, I suggest that you just uh, leave that unchecked. And I'll go ahead and click on Install WordPress. And great, so it actually installed WordPress and took me to the login screen. So I'll go ahead and paste the password that I have in from the clipboard, and I'll click Login. And we're back at our WordPress site. So if you go under your test title, uh, or the title of your site here that you created, and you can go ahead and visit site. I'll open this in a new tab. And my WordPress site is now installed locally on my computer. And as I promised, uh, you can change the site title that you created during setup. You would just need to go to settings and then general. And you can change the site title to whatever you like. Whatevs. And you can also change that tagline. And click save. And that's about it. Uh, I hope this tutorial helped you. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. Feel free to comment, rate, or uh, and subscribe. Thanks.